Hello, welcome to the Gym RPG Show. So last week I made a video about the 3080 Ti and it seemed to line up with a lot of the rumors about there being a cancelled 20 gigabyte 3080. Now there's been some new information today about another 3080 Ti and it could very well be that this is the actual 3080 Ti that we're getting and perhaps the information that we got last week was for a GPU that they were testing or maybe they changed their mind but uh, the 3080 Ti information that we got today is different to the information we got last week so we'll be looking at that news today now just before I do make sure to click on the like button if you like this video and also to subscribe to the channel if you want more gaming videos like this Okay, so we're just going to recap quickly what happened last week. So last week, Copite 7 Kimmy, and actually I think we better start calling him Copite Jensen because he seems to be first with all of the NVIDIA leaks. But last week he tweeted out that there was going to be a 3080 Ti that was going to be based on the GA102 GPU and it was going to have 9984 CUDA cores and it was going to be on a 384-bit bus which uh, probably meant that it was going to have 12 gigabytes of VRAM. Now fast forward to today and he tweeted out finally the Survivor is RTX 3080 Ti Founders Edition and he says RTX 3080 Ti FE PG-133 SKU-15, GA-102, 250 KDA-1, it has 20 gigabytes of G6X, it has the same FP32 count as the 3090, which is 10,496 CUDA cores, it has the same memory speed and TGP as 3080, and there's no NV link. Now we don't know which of these tweets is the actual 3080 Ti that we will be getting, but if I was a betting man, I would place my bets on the 20 gigabytes 3080 Ti. I think if Nvidia were to put out a 3080 Ti with 12 gigabytes of VRAM, that would probably not be enough. So this 3080 Ti is obviously a response to AMD 6900 XT, which is priced at $999. And Nvidia's 3090 looks pretty overpriced right now at $1,500, given that it pretty much has the same performance as the 6900 XT. So what they're actually giving you here is basically a discount on that 3090. They're just going to call it a 3080 Ti. It has the same number of CUDA cores as the 3090. It just has four gigabytes less of VRAM and also it doesn't have NVLink. So I see this card being priced at around $999, pretty much the same as the 6900 XT. I don't think Nvidia can really afford to price this too high given that because there's competition most people can easily just opt for the 6900 XT if they wanted to. And I think Nvidia were always going to bring out a card that had more VRAM than the 3080. A lot of people have already said that the 10 gigabytes was really not enough. And even though there was news a couple of weeks ago about the 20 gigabyte 3080 uh, being cancelled. I think this is pretty much the replacement for that and uh, they knew that they had to put out something that was going to compete with the 6900 XT and with this GPU they could kill two birds with one stone. They could effectively bring out a 3080 Ti with a discount pretty much like how they used to do with their 2080 Ti's and their 1080 Ti's um, and then also they could charge more for people who were going to buy a 3080 but wanted more VRAM. And I think VRAM has been a bit of a concern for PC gamers. Just the other day, we had the developer of Godfall saying that they needed 12 gigabytes of VRAM just for 4K Ultra textures. As well as that, a lot of people have been testing out Watch Dogs Legions and that has been using up a lot of VRAM. I don't exactly recall how much VRAM it was using. I think it was about 8 gigabytes to 9 gigabytes in 4K. But that is a lot of VRAM, especially for next generation games that are coming out at the start of the generation. Now, I don't want to scare people too much into buying the higher VRAM variants of the GPUs. I think people should do their own research about how much VRAM that they think they're going to need because I think everyone is going to be different with what types of games that they're going to play and at what settings and resolutions. So make sure to check out benchmark videos and then read up on the topic as well and then go and buy a card that has the amount of VRAM that you need. 
But let me know in the comments what you think down below. Do you think you'll still go with the 3080 10 gigabyte card? Or do you think you're gonna step up to the 3080 Ti with 20 gigabytes of VRAM? Me, I think it really depends on the price. So we're gonna wait and see what the price of this 3080 Ti is going to be. I think $999 will probably be a bit too high for me. So I'm exploring all my options right now, including <laughs> Uh, looking at FreeSync monitors uh, in the case that I do need to buy an AMD GPU because I think that 6800 XT with the $649 price is looking pretty good right now. Okay, so that's it for this one. Make sure to click the like button and also to subscribe to this channel for more gaming videos like this and I'll see you in the next one.